Hi guys, welcome back. So this lesson is aimed slightly more at beginners, but really it's for anyone who doesn't already know these four chords, because they are very useful to know. So this chord progression is probably the most common one that exists, and it can be found in a huge amount of songs, a countless amount, definitely in the hundreds. They are predominantly pop songs, but there's going to be a song in most genres that have this chord progression. I'll put a link in the description to a video which demonstrates some guys showing off loads of different songs that uses this progression. So to make things nice and simple, we'll go through this in the key of C major. So the chord progression consists of these four chords. C major. G major. A minor and F major. You may want to play through those a few times until you're comfortable with them and then we're going to start to make them sound a bit more interesting. So the first thing we should learn about these chords is that we can play them in different positions and this is what is known as inversions. And this basically means that we can play the notes of each chord in any combination we like. So for example, the C major chord could be played like this, but we could also play it like this, like this, and they can be played anywhere on the piano. So what you want to practice now is going through each of those four chords and playing each one in as many different inversions as possible. In your left hand you can play just the root note so for C major, you would play C, and for G major, it would be G, and so on. And another thing you can occasionally do in your left hand is to actually play any note that is in the chord you are playing in your right hand at that time. So using different notes can really change the overall sound, so experiment with that as well. So once you've practiced all of that, we can start to put the chord progression together. And when we do this, we want to pick inversions that are fairly close together and that don't have much of a jump between them. So, for example, we could do something like this. Or something like this. Notice the different note in my left hand here. So once you've got those chords under your fingers, the next thing we need to do is add some timing and rhythm. And we will keep this nice and simple. To start with, you want to just play single chords and count four beats for each one, something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So just play around with that a few times until you've got the hang of it. And then what you can start to do is play around with the chords using different patterns. And there are literally an infinite number of patterns you could use, but here are some common ones. This is what is called split chords.
Remember to keep that four beat pulse going as well, whatever pattern you're doing. That's very important. Another common pattern is to use arpeggios. So just sit down for a while and experiment with different patterns and see what you can come up with. Here is a more advanced one. So you really need to put in the work, and once you get those chords under your fingers, you'll really start to see some progress with your playing. So one other thing is that, although you now have the chords to play all these songs, I haven't given you any melodies. Now there are two things you can do about this. The first is you can sing the melody over the top of the chords, which is what a lot of people do. Or secondly, you can actually try and figure them out using your ear, now this may sound like a really difficult thing to do, but for these songs with very basic melodies, it's actually quite easy. It's also great practice for your ears, and the more you do it, the easier it will become. The last thing to mention is that we have only learnt these chords in the key of C major. Now a lot of these songs that use these chords will be in this key, but others will also be in different keys. So I recommend learning this chord progression in a few other keys as well. Some common ones would be F major and G major. So I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I release new videos every week, so there will always be something new to check out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below, and I'll see you in another video.